Hi guys, welcome to Nothing TV. This is your host Ajay Gupta today with Infocus M808 handset. This is a really sexy looking device, but let's see how it performs and how are the other things on the phone. Let's so go. So guys, for starters, if I talk about the build quality of M808, then this uh, phone is a complete metallic device. As you can see, this is a silver color and this is complete metal from head to toe at the sides at the back side so it looks great it feels great to hold and it is really sturdy so if you are using it casually even if you put down on the desk like this and you are having no cover uh, there are no harms done to the device this in focus logo uh, the letters will not come out because these are indented inside the metal that is again a good thing the looks are great these bands are provided for the network reception because the complete device is metallic on the top this is 3.5 mm jack port uh, on the back this is the camera 13 megapixel camera with flash and on the bottom these are dual speaker grills with micro usb port the bottom buttons are on present on the screen so you don't have to worry whether they are non backlit or backlit because they are always lit because they are on the screen on the right side of the phone i got volume rocker button and power on home button these are nicely done and uh, can be operated easily they are not hard or not too soft on the right side these are sim card coming to the performance of this device guys i ran into two benchmark on the phone and just let me quickly run you down through the specs so the model is m808 i they have specified it android 5.1 Runs on MediaTek 6753 processor, 13 megapixel, 5 megapixel camera, full HD display, and RAM is 2 GB system storage is around 10.09 uh, GB is available to the user, 16 GB is the total amount of storage, and uh, oops, if I test the multi touch on the device, expect it to be 10 point multi touch. Yes, it is a 10 point multi touch which is a good thing so most of your apps and games which require multiple fingers will run easily NFC is not supported it supports direction sensor, gravitation sensor, acceleration sensor light sensor, e-compass proximity sensor, gyro sensor, linear acceleration and rotation vector so this is a good thing that it supports 10 point multi-touch and most of the sensors you require for your apps and gaming the score is 30,670 what kind of uh, what does this score mean to you as a user guys so basically you will be able to open all the apps like facebook whatsapp gmail other chatting messaging apps or any other app uh, multitasking is good that means and you will also be able to run multiple tabs in the browser without the phone giving you any hiccups the phone is ranked above htc1 xiaomi redmi note and below google nexus 5 for gamers guys I played games, heavy games as well as the light games but the phone tends to heat up after a few minutes of gaming and after a few minutes of uh, calling or you know taking images via the camera. So basically the phone heats up and the processor will slow down. So this phone is not exactly for hardcore gamers. Heavy games are best played at uh, low graphic settings or medium graphic settings for a smaller duration till the time the phone starts to heat up and the phone can handle light too moderately heavy games easily as far as another benchmark is concerned i ran geekbench 3 okay it's asking me to run it again never mind let's do it so yes the result is now here uh, the geekbench single core score is 620 and multi core score is 2718 now we should be focusing on multi core score because that is uh, what happens uh, most of the times when you're running multiple apps multiple cores come into play as compared to a single core these days and the device uh, get a score of 2718 so this score is above most of the devices like LG Nexus 5 Samsung Galaxy S4 but it is again below Samsung Galaxy S5 amazing Kindle Fire HTX 7 but the result is pretty decent so the processor result is decent but the heating factor ultimately slows down the processor if you're running some heavy thing for an extended period of time so that is the main problem in the phone anyways moving on to the camera 
I have a lot many features in the camera itself. So there are normal mode, PIP mode where you can focus to a particular object and just not focus on the surroundings, live photo mode, motion track mode, panorama mode for a wide photo shot, multi angle view mode. All these modes are good guys but what about the final image that is the deciding factor and sadly uh, in focus m808 is not a good phone for imaging purpose i'll show you the images i clicked using the camera and uh, these are some of the shots firstly the colors are right away not natural when you see these things with naked eye and on the display of in focus or transfer the image to your desktop or laptop you can see the exact difference in the colors however the detailing is okay it's not great could have been better again when i just zoom in this image the detailing is just okay not too bad but not too good either look at this image this appears to be a bit better than the other images and uh, I'm not happy with the front facing camera guys uh, you can see this image this is in the beautified mode and uh, when you just zoom into the things they get a bit pixelized and these were the result outside with clear lightning falling on my face light falling on my face but uh, when you click images indoors there's a huge amount of pixelation you can see these square square pixel you can see this kind of unnatural image coming up so not a good phone for taking selfies a okay phone for clicking your images through the rear camera apart from that let us now check for the OTG support before that let me jump to the settings and let's see what kind of storage space is available to the user so you can see total space is 11.47 GB and available user space on first boot I have installed some apps so around you will get 10 and a half GB of free storage space so you can mount SD card and you can mount USB storage too. So these SIM ports act as one of this one. The left one acts as a hybrid SIM port. You can either insert two uh, SIM cards in both these or you can opt this left one to insert the SD card. Now let's mount the SD storage and check whether it does support the USB OTG and guys it is asking me that do you want to change the default right this i say no and it has detected the usb otg so this is one good thing of infocus m808 phone that it detects you otg and you can access all the stuff which is present in the otg directly through your phone that is a good thing now let's see what kind of ram is available to the user and what kind of ram is system using because this is not pure android system i'm happy on this front because I'm getting 1.21, 1 1.1 GB of RAM free and system is occupying almost 500 MB of RAM. This is acceptable, not a problem. Apart from that, there are some other features like motion features. You can turn over the phone to reject a call. Volume quiet on pickup, direct call and answer. Smart alert, shake to move to next song. You can just activate these and use these apart from that nothing out of the box things have been kept simple here which is a good thing so guys i was really impressed by the device looks and the display when i saw this phone is a full hd display with massive 480 dpi on the screen the touch is like you're using a premium expensive device there is complete metal on the device which makes it robust and looks uh, and it's awesome looking but when it comes to performance, the phone sadly heats up. Even when you click 10 images at a good start heating up, it doesn't heat up when you're charging it. But uh, during usage, during gaming, the phone heats up, which ultimately slows down the processor and the user experience turns out not so a good one. 
and the 5 megapixel front facing camera it's, it's not happening it could have been better the rear camera uh, captures images but then sometimes they don't remain in their natural colors the low light imaging is not good it's actually pretty bad so if you're going for this phone then only go for the build quality for the display and uh, for the rear camera without the low light imaging otherwise uh, this phone should be avoided and uh, you can look at other in focus phone and other device and of course other devices in the same price segment sadly in focus didn't manage to click the right things this time usually it's all phones I have reviewed till now have been superb but this one just misses the mark thanks for watching the video uh, if you like the video can hit the subscribe button over here I'll see you next time have a great day guys